Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of our Prison Architect LP where we had left off we were doing some basic expansion and down here I believe was going to be our solitary housing unit so let's take a look and see we don't have an entrance I guess is our final problem here so let's go to our objects menu and we're gonna find ourselves a door here and once we have a door I'll probably put it like right there that'll probably work out and there's one little bit left that they need to place and it says that they can't get to it so hopefully someone will come along and take care of that I would hate to have to redesignate this but we'll give it a shot let's see here we will redesignate this foundation first things first just to fix any inherent issues that we've run into and we will get rid of that because I think I just overwrote the door that I wanted to put in and there we are and so hopefully that gets fixed now in the greater scheme of things there are a number of things that I'd like to fix up namely I'd like to stop I'd like to get away from kind of this giant let's just place stuff all over the place fad that I've been getting into so let's take a look here and figure out why all these jobs are blocked I can assure you this job is indeed not blocked hmm Looks like we've got another fight down in here. Just another naked brawl. If there's one thing you can count on, it's death taxes and fights at the Splattercat death security shower. So let's take a look at what we're trying to accomplish here. So we'll get rid of those, and let me see if I can replace them maybe. I'm not sure why it's giving me that whole blocked spiel, but... We'll see what happens here. Get rid of you. We don't want you, Drain. You're in the wrong spot. Now we're going to take a look at our utilities menu and make sure that power is being run properly because that's the other thing that this needs. So there we are. We'll run that to there. And hopefully in the long run, it looks like they're already being designated as blocked again, which I don't really understand. I'm not sure why those are being flagged as blocked. Hmm. I can only assume. I'm a little confused here. I'm not sure what's going on with my shower, but there's plenty of drains and things in place already. So maybe. Hmm. I wasn't planning on dealing with this. I actually thought that this would just kind of wrap itself up and that it was a temporary block. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is! Hooray, workers, hooray. So let's get ourselves a few more staffers. There we are, because I just noticed we're taking intake right now. So let's get some more staffers. And then we'll go ahead and... Why are you not being built? Come on. Come on, solitary housing unit. We need our shoe. We need to take care of business down here. And so it looks like they're being redesignated as blocked once again. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, we have an extra guard. He's a prepaid versus our next kind of intake. So our workmen do appear to be carrying drains. It's a draining task, and they should be able to install those now. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. That would be mightily disappointing. And so before we go too much further, I am going to set up more fencing, I think. Just kind of get general areas taken care of. But we do need to designate this as a shower, so let's do that as well. So we will go to our shower here, and we will call this a shower now, so that hopefully this will take some of the stress off of our other shower room. So all these guys will hopefully come bathe in here, these guys will hopefully come bathe in here, and we'll see what happens. I may actually add a door right here, put in another foundation, and put another shower right here just in case. Just in case, but what has happened here? Hmm... Something strange has occurred. What we'll do is we'll dismantle this wall. There we are. And once those are dismantled, we'll put in a new wall that's going to be made of bricks. And then we'll get this all kind of segregated off. And once it's divided from the rest of the area, we'll turn this into our secure housing unit. Where all of these little handcuff guys on the ground can go. Because frankly... And in its most simple form, we haven't been putting, we haven't really been punishing anybody for all the crazy shit they've been doing. So we really need to take care of that. There needs to be some amount of punishment for those who choose to break my noble 
Splattercadian laws, my Splatastic laws. Now, once those are in, let's go ahead and we'll get the utilities taken care of as well while we're here, while we're on the subject. And I think running it long ways like so is probably the best way to do it, maybe. And taking a look at our bank account balance, because it's always good to keep an eye on your balance. I know we need more recreation. I feel like these people... Now, I know some people have wanted me to make common rooms, and I will in the future. But as the game is now, all of these things out here should function. They just don't seem to be using them. Let's take a look at our regime and figure out what's going on here. So we've got shower time, we've got free time, we've got ED time. That's really all we kind of need. What does a high meal variety do? Hmm. Increases my cost per day, which is only like $20 per day. Who cares? Yeah, give them a high meal variety. Maybe if they get more shrimps and all kinds of crazy shit, they'll be happier. I don't know. They want to be eating filet mignon in prison. I'll do whatever it takes to make sure that I don't get shanked while I'm walking through the premises. So, other things we should probably take care of. We haven't played around with beautification much, except in the little staff area up here. And I am going to grab my materials menu. We're going to start placing grass up and in here. So there we are. And getting that all taken care of. It's going to look nice. Hopefully not derpy. Hopefully it just looks nice. We don't want derpy. We want nice. There's a clear distinction. When I tell my workmen, not derpy, nice. We'll get rid of those two just so we can do another gate right here maybe. Make it possibly staff only. And what other things can I kind of alleviate? I can get rid of this fence here. We don't really need that fence anymore. My general layout, so far, I am pleased with. I'm not amazingly happy with it, but it seems all right. It seems cool. It seems kind of cool. So let's get some fencing going. And by fencing, I do not mean the ancient sport of stabbing at one another with rapiers. That would be actually probably a horrible idea here in prison. I don't think there are many prisons around that have fencing programs. It appears as though one of my construction workers is stuck over here as well. What are you doing, bud? What are you doing? Lockdown, maybe? Let's go into lockdown mode and see if that fixes any of these random things. Lockdown mode? Why does everything go to black and white when in lockdown? Does a prison lockdown actually bleach the uh, color and contrast and tint from the world? I guess if you're a prisoner, it might. Is he no longer stuck behind the wall? No, he is still stuck behind the wall. He is still stuck behind said wall. Now, normally the construction workers can jump these walls, so I'm not really sure what's going wrong here. And I would low I really want to avoid putting in a fence, or I'm sorry, putting in a gate at this point because there's holes in the fence, and I feel like my prisoners would just make a run for it. I don't feel like they would be legitimate. They would kind of be dicks and just take off and make me look stupid. And if there's one thing I am adverse to, it's looking incredibly stupid, so hopefully they'll put these fences in. I really... What is going wrong here? The job is not blocked, my friends. The job is most assuredly... See this free space? You see all this... All of this open land should allow you to place forth the fence, noble workman. I almost said noble carpenter, but I don't think they're carpenters. And so I really think what's happening here is the AI is just getting massively confused by some of these things that are going on. I am not... So we have lots of garbage. It's too dangerous. Hmm. What are my workmen doing over here? They appear to have gotten stuck. Huh. Well, I'm not really sure how to fix this. In any sense. I mean, we can try some of the general things. I mean, maybe hiring more workmen? I don't know. Let's see what happens when I hire these two workmen. I mean, worst case is I can fire my workforce. If, they are, if they're all getting ridiculously stuck, I can fire my workforce and hire more. I mean, I don't really know what to do here. Oh, dear. So there appears to be some AI loop that's gotten everybody kind of trapped. Uh, I don't know how to fix this, unfortunately. I have no idea how to make this better. Well then. 
that all being taken into account, let me go ahead and do some research and see if I can get this fixed up. We'll try this again in just a minute. Alright, so we're back now, and restarting the game appears to have the effect of restarting our construction queue, maybe? I mean, some of these guys are still stuck, so get out of here, you lazy bum. There you are. Hit the road. Alright, so we got rid of them, and so I guess the rest of these gentlemen are putting down sod, which is a very, very awful job. I don't know if you guys have ever laid down sod. It is not a fun job. It makes you itchy, especially if you're allergic to the grass. You get little, like, bumps all over you. You get those little, like, microscopic grass cuts from working on it all day. Not a fun job. I have yet to... I work construction for a little while, and I have yet to find the guy who's like, Yeah! Oh, yeah! Let's lay down some sod! Like, it's the funnest job ever. That gentleman does not exist, and if he does, I would challenge you to present him. Bring him forth and present him. Laying down sod... Ugh. Awful job. Just an awful, miserable task. So they are destroying the truck over here. They do not appear to be happy with the fact... This gentleman had a club. I saw that. He came into prison with a truncheon. Like, how are you going to sneak an entire... He must have a deep, deep anus. Or a deep colon, I guess. If that's where you hide weapons in prison. So they're all jumping back to work. Hopefully things get done. I mean... I, I'm a wee bit confused. I've had loads of bugs with the game just in the last couple days. That's why, actually, the Prison Architect episodes are going so slowly is because the bugification of this game is pretty, pretty raised. I mean, the bugification levels are definitely uplifted at the moment, and so I've had to cancel two or three episodes just because the whole thing either crashes or, like, this bug right here where they're getting stuck on a wall. And as far as I can tell, there doesn't seem to be a fix for this. Like, they just get stuck, and that's it is what it is, and then you just rehire them. There we are. We'll get another workman, and he'll just conjure a light bulb out of his bum. He just pulled some Harry Potter action there, and it was just like, Producus Lightus Anusus, and just conjured a light out of his bum. But he didn't even go to the stock room. He just, boop, there it was. And our guard is just in here just beating the hell out of prisoners, which I'm fine with. If they destroy this truck... Well, maybe they'll destroy the truck. I don't know. Maybe that'll fix all the bugginess. I can't banish these trucks. I can't be like, away with you, truck. So, this garbage truck seems to be causing the bulk of the issue. I don't know why this garbage is not being loaded. But as you can see, this garbage has been canceled like 38 times. And these are just some of the things I've been wrestling with in the current alpha. I know there's a new alpha out. I should probably try it, but haven't gotten around to it. And honestly, I've been kind of interested in trying out new things. This gentleman's just waving a spoon about. I don't know. Just waving a spoon. Just angry at the world. Just, ah! Fist raised to the sky, waving a spoon. Why? Why is everything so buggy? And so my guards are not locking these prisoners up. They need to take these prisoners and do something with them. He had a broom. Like, where do you hide a broom? He must be really tall. That's the only he's like twelve feet tall. That's my best guess. I don't know. Take these prisoners to prison. They're here. They have arrived. Guards, take them to prison. Ugh. Lockdown maybe? Will that help? Will lockdown what did he have? Huh. What did he have on his person? I'm actually interested in seeing what that was. It looked like it was like a garret wire or something. Like a piano wire. They are searching the prisoners, it's just not getting anything done. So now that lockdown's taken care of, I mean, so many individual things have gone wrong that I'm semi-tempted just to cancel the series. I know that's probably not what you guys want to hear, but the problems with things, people getting stuck has just been insurmountable as of recently. Like, that's really why I haven't been working on the series. It's because so many things have been going wrong that it's difficult to get anything. It is, it's a garret wire. Or like a spring. Maybe he's using a spring as a weapon. I don't know. Yeah, watch. As soon as this delivery kind of ends right here, they'll all just kind of stand around and get stuck on this wall. It's been happening over and over and over again, which does not make for super entertaining gameplay footage, unfortunately. So this may be our last episode. I'll, I'll mess around and see if I can fix the issue. But if I can't fix it, I can't fix it. And we just got beat by a bug, so... Hopefully when you guys see this, you'll offer me some insight as to how I can fix this. I've tried lockdowns. I've tried a number of different techniques, canceling jobs and so forth from the job queue. Does not appear to help that much. Does not appear to alleviate the issue. In fact, it seems to make it worse. The more jobs that I queue up, 
the less work we seem to get done. And it all seems to stem from the fact that that garbage truck won't get the hell out of the way. So I wish there was a console I could go to and be like, F you garbage truck and just send it off into the distance. But we're not transporting prisoners anymore. Actually, one prisoner looks like he got transported, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, he is. One prisoner is being transported. So I don't know, guys. I just do not know. Let's go to our bureaucracy menu. And just in case this magically decides to fix itself, we'll start deployment so that we can put down guards in different areas. But for right now, I've even got guards that are getting stuck. So what are these guys doing? They're constructing fences. Okay. I'm getting some fencing done. And no, I do not mean the renaissance sport of stabbing one another with pointy objects. My guards don't fence. My deployment officer appears to be playing with a Game Boy right now. Oh, it's a clipboard. Like He's got one of the giant Game Boys, one of the old ones from back in the day like I had. Playing like Sumo Fighter and that discount knockoff Mario they put on the Game Boy. What the hell was up with that Mario where you were like flying around in a plane shooting dots at things? That had the distinct feeling of Mario 2 to me where it didn't feel like it was made by like Nintendo. It didn't feel like a real Mario game. It felt weird. Like the little icons and things weren't right. Like the little kind of mushrooms and things you picked up weren't in the right resolution. They went, they wasn't the right artwork. And then later on you had like all the different Wario games and those were much better. Like the six golden coins, that was a fantastic Mario game. A little easy, but still a great Mario game. I, I distinctively remember being super stoked. I remember I was in like first grade and this kid, we had like show and tell, like we still had show and tell, so maybe it was like kindergarten, I don't know. But we were little kids, and this kid brought his Game Boy in, and he had like Mario and the Six Golden Coins, or whatever the hell that game was called. And like for show and tell, he just started playing it, and he sat there for like 10 minutes just playing Game Boy without like talking or anything before the teacher was like, alright, that's enough of that. But I was like, man, that was a great idea, that kid had it locked down, he's like, I'm just gonna play Game Boy through here. Forget show and tell. Your show, <laughs> your show and tell can't control me, I'm just gonna play Game Boy the entire time. I wish that my prisoners would offload. Like, I really am kind of disappointed by the fact that these trucks just appear to be stuck. Hmm. I mean, they seem to continue to be working, so maybe I don't know where they're getting the materials from because no new trucks are coming in, so maybe... I don't know. I'm at a loss right now. I am just confused. <laughs> Things appear to be going drastically wrong. I don't know how to fix them. My staff is failing me. Let's hire some more cooks, actually, to get some more work done. There we go. We are really below our budget up here in the corner, so maybe some more cooks would help. But then again, we're not getting food deliveries either, so we may just see our entire prison system implode on itself, which would make for an entertaining last episode, I will admit. It's nighttime, so our frame rate is just dying. I don't know why this doesn't happen to some people, but it happens to me. I'm, I don't know. And everyone else appears to be working on something. We'll go to our bureaucracy and get some things moving. Get maintenance, maybe. And then our health professionals cannot really... A clone. Unlocks the clone tool on the main toolbar. Oh, we can duplicate areas. Okay. That would probably be easier than having to measure out these boxes every single time. Pretty much my entire prison seems to be broken at the moment. Like, the whole thing just seems to be a giant... Well, it seems to be foobar. For those of you that know what foobar means, it appears to be foobar. Absolutely foobar. So, that being the case, I'm going to try and fix this kind of stuff off camera. We'll call this episode to a close. If I can't fix it, I can't guarantee we're going to have further episodes... I'll try to come up with something cool to do, like maybe I'll let them all escape through a hole in the wall or something, I don't know. Come up with some kind of season finale before we move on to a new Let's Play, but if I can't get this fixed off camera, we're definitely going to call this one to a close because wrestling with these bugs has been a giant time sink for me. So I do enjoy the series, I do like the game, but it just feels a bit buggy for me at the moment. So my name is Splattercat, thank you for joining me here at Splattermax Death Security Prison. I hope you'll join me next time, and I hope we can get these bugs ironed out so that there will be a next time. Because if I have to cancel the prison right now, I'm going to be a sad cat. But that being said, I hope you'll all take care out there. You'll have a great day, and I hope things go well for you. Take care out there.